Hey everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to um another episode of well Let's Talk. We'll go with Let's Talk. In this episode, the new faction warfare system. So the new faction warfare system, basically you don't pick a planet anymore. Uh you don't see the population, which is already a problem for me. You know, it's uh, one of these things where it's, you know, I think where the light's flashing is where they want you to kind of go, I'm, I'm assuming. I'm, I'm thinking. But anyways, so, now you click fight now on the right, and then you have your two options. Red for fight now, which is obviously fighting over a planet, or scout now, which is where you do the scouting mode. Now, a couple things you need to know. Each one has its two, obviously, uh, drop decks. Uh, what I've done is I've done a ballistic heavy, or... I call it my ammo heavy or defensive uh, drop deck. So I have two drop decks. My One is a defensive drop deck. And my second one is an offensive drop deck. What I've also done is I split them. So out of the four mechs I have, I have two, two mechs in my defensive drop deck that are ammo heavy. And it's probably going to switch to four that are going to be quote unquote ammo heavy. And then in my offensive drop deck, it's going to be massively energy heavy. Lots of lots of lasers, lots of pinpoint damage, lots of stuff like that. Um, and that's kind of the way I want myself to go. Um, but the fact that you have 250 tons to play with, you do anything you want with this thing. Uh, with the new quick play modes being the first batch, I like it. With that being said, I already have some complaints. Number one, the speed upon which it goes to the old invasion mode way too fast in that eight hour span so we're only halfway in not even halfway in to uh <laughs> to to an, to uh we'll say a, a time frame and it's already maxed out to to the uh, to one invasion side that tells me right there that maybe they need to expand things a little bit make everything almost double because right now it's it's basically getting maxed out to one side after four or five matches i've noticed um I think it's two matches almost per. Now, mind you, I, this, these numbers could obviously be thrown off by the fact that there could be f eight or nine matches going off every, we'll say every ten minutes. And the clans could be winning nine of those eight matches, which would still put it in their direction. Every single victory, right? So every every ten minutes, when, it kicks, when the matches are over, out of the eight and eight, the clans are winning... You know, fifty-six uh, percent. So it moves to the left, that little bit more, that little bit more, that little bit more. But because so many matches are happening, it's moving faster. That's good. That's bad, right? It's good because it's showing where maybe the deficit might be. Where if now it's just, and I, I will admit, I'm enjoying the fact that it's all pugs. I have not come up against anything larger than a four-man. And I've played about twenty some odd of these uh, these these uh, these modes of this mode now, and I've only done invasion four times out of the twenty, which is good, because that means you're doing domination, conquest, assault, and skirmish, and that makes it more fun. In those modes, I am making tons of money. We're talking about eight hundred thousand C bills in a win, six hundred thousand C bills in a loss. To me. That tells me, in a 10-minute match, I can already make more money, and I get the loyalty points to then get additional rewards. So I personally am going to be playing Faction Warfare more, more often than not now. It's all going to be about Faction Warfare for me. With that said, I am having the issue still with the meta builds. I mean, you're still getting those, right? I mean, you're going to get those no matter what. Uh, and I don't mean them as a complaint. I mean, as a... They seem like everyone just wants to go back to them. No one wants to experiment. No one wants to have fun. No one wants to, you know, kind of play outside the box. Every now and then you get a, a pilot on the clan side that's got a gargoyle. <laughs> and I only want to mention this because I had a, ma a match earlier today with a gargoyle. And that made me remember that I had to do a gargoyle episode for the Let's Luck. So, overall, big thumbs up for the... Uh, for the for the new uh, for the new mode, big thumbs up for the new mode. Uh, thumbs down for how fast it moved to uh, to invasion though. No big deal in my eyes. 
But, I mean, it could be a drawback for a lot of people. I know a lot of you guys in my unit are refusing to play it if it gets to Invasion. Just, right, we're going to refuse to play. Uh, that's not. Uh, number two. Um, one thing I don't like is the fact that I can't see the population. I can't see if there's wait if there's wait times or not. Before it would show you here how many people were waiting. Now not so much. Not so much. But I don't mind. One hundred percent don't mind. What I'm going to be talking my unit into doing is actually going if they don't want to do the invasion modes. Switch over to Scout. Do a 4v4 Scout. It'll be, still be fun. There'll be four of us. We'll do Scout. We'll get our Scout missions on. We'll do good. We'll be happy. Boom. Bob's your uncle. And we're done for the day. Warlog. Oh, nice. So, right, the clans haven't really done much, but we are at 3.3, .3, additional 3.3. .3, so, I'm assuming... Uh, is that the... See, this doesn't... I don't understand what this is. So, yeah. So, the warlock here, I don't exactly understand what this means, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if this is the... Oh, i got to vote again. Um... I want to take more planets associated with this area here. You wouldn't be too bad. New Oslo, Frontier, Drawnheim, Leoben. Leoben. Voted. I voted for Leoben. Even though everyone's voting for New Oslo. Which I think is... Yeah, right there. Which isn't too bad. Because that opens up a, a good little spot for us. So, Because if we're going to capture Hermager, which it doesn't look like we're going to. But yeah, so overall, not a bad mode. I like it. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing just how things are going in the chat. No one's really talking right now. But yeah, thumbs up for the new mode. I'm enjoying it. I'm liking it quite a bit. And we'll see what uh, how, how things go over the next little bit. Until then, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.